Let's have a little mini e-buzz, shall we? <laughs> because producer Katie just came in here f- feeling her conspiracy theory, like <laughs> full on when it comes to Cardi B offset and him accusing her of infidelity. Mm-hmm. Because I believe that if Cardi B did cheat. But you don't think she did. I'm not 100% sure. What? Give us a percentage. Uh, 60-40. <laughs> 60 what? 60 she did it? 60 she didn't. Oh, she didn't. Okay. So you're giving her a slim benefit of the doubt. Yes. Okay. But there's a reason behind it. If I did not know that she had a bodyguard that is just as fine as Beyonce's bodyguard, Julius, and if you are a Beyonce fan, you know that Beyonce's bodyguard is Julius, and he's a fine, tall drink of water, right? And is famous. Cardi B has her own version. Oh, that's him? And if you look okay. him up... See, Kristen's reaction see, just made yes, me... Yes, that's him. I didn't think Cardi was cheating until you just reacted to the picture like that. Oh, sorry? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not sure. Because, so, I guess I, Offset's fine. Uh-huh. Like, she's got... Her, her man is very good looking. Um, and then you pull up her bodyguard. He, too, is mm. very good looking. And I think also, too, the fact that he has the job as bodyguard, so you know he's there to be a protector. Mm. Adds a little extra oomph. He's also really well dressed. This man is fine, and he's got some good outfits on. All right, so Mo, mm-hmm. you are married to somebody who is famous. You two are famous. You're married to somebody famous. This is, oh, oh. so this is kind of like the whole would you let your nanny be hot theory. Like women get asked all the time, would you be okay if you ha- like your husband hired a hot nanny? Would you be okay if your wife hired a super hot bodyguard? I wouldn't care none about his looks. Can this man actually protect my wife? He can protect oh, your can wife. Fight. He can protect and fight Is for he your brave? wife. Yes. All that. So he has all of the. Don't, don't just bring a fine man in here who no. can't fight. Because then we got a problem. Highly <laughs> qualified. Right, what are we doing? <laughs> he is highly qualified. He can. He's he's super. He's ripped. He's buff. He knows all these fighting moves. Whatever. He is highly qualified, but he is also seriously fine. Damn. So if she do cheat on me, I can't beat him up. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, uh, I wouldn't have a problem with it. No. Mm. You're crazy. <laughs> this what I, see. This what I don't understand about yeah. marriage. Like, Renee? this is my wife. We're not talking about my girlfriend. No, 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 no. I'm not marrying a woman yeah. I would ever have trust issues with. Because no, Offset never. and Cardi are married, correct? Yes, they are. Yeah. If she's my wife, I would have not one concern about it. That's why I married her, because I would have no trust issues. Mm. She can do whatever she wants. I mean, my wife get a bodyguard. He better look like Debo from but, Friday. Better- <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Seriously. That, I mean, <laughs> Did he just pass away? Yeah, recently? somebody said me it's yeah. not even a lie. <laughs> Rest in time, he's throwing <laughs> shots. Rest in peace, tiny lips. <laughs> I mean, look. Like, what? Abby, I mean. Oh, I've got him pulled up. Yeah. Oh, she did it. I got to say it. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, anytime he dressed like that, a man looking like James Bond in 2023. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> not many men can pull off a turtleneck. Exactly. This dude is pulling yeah, off a turtleneck. <laughs> you, can, you make a turtleneck look that good. All right. So, Abby, you think, like, when you're looking at this, yeah, what's your percentage that, you know, she may have cheated on Offset? Oh, 90-10. 90-10. I'm not giving any wiggle room for this woman. I'm looking at this man. I'm like, yeah, he's protective and you're spending all the time with him. Mm-hmm. And does, yeah. is, isn't she owed one? I was all about to say, cheating? she's owed a few. <laughs> yeah, Offset didn't only get caught once. He's got caught a few times to the point where the man had to literally like go and disturb her concert to try to get her back. I mean, Cardi was like one foot out the door at that point, so she might have got a little payback. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you. One... Thank you for your theory, because yeah. it brought us to him. Yes. <laughs> Gorgeous man. A little Kevin Costner situation going on. It is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so she's starting to feel more like a rideshare driver than a girlfriend. Should she ditch or continue to date this guy? Abby's got the email. Dear Burt Show, I hear you're doing that ditch or date thing you guys do every week, and now I have one for you to debate. I've been dating a guy for a few weeks. I'll call him Ryder. You'll soon see why. I barely even know her. (laughs) (laughs) My friend. (laughs) Anytime we go out on dates, I drive because he doesn't have a car. At first, I didn't mind, but now it's starting to bug me. I've tried hinting around him getting a car, but he seems to have no intention of getting one. The thing is, he has the money. He always pays for our dates, including nice dinners, but I always drive. I jokingly asked him what he did before me, and he said... He took Ubers. I can't help but feel like I'm his Uber with benefits. (laughs) Ryder 
get it now. Mm-hmm. He's a great guy otherwise. He's good looking, has a great personality, but I don't want to be his personal chauffeur. Up until recently, I've only driven him on our dates. A couple of days ago, he asked me over to his place for a home cooked meal. And when I got there, he had to set up a romantic he had set up a romantic dinner with candles and everything. What he didn't tell me is that he wanted me to take him to the grocery store so he could buy what he was going to cook. Mm. He said it'd be fun to do together. I agreed. However, once we got the stuff he needed for dinner, he pulled out another list and continued to do all of his grocery <laughs> shopping. I didn't say anything in the moment. We finally got back to his apartment, and he did make me a nice candlelit dinner. It was sweet, but in the back of my mind, I'm wondering if he's using me to be his personal Uber. I've talked about it with my friends, and they think I should dump him, but I really like him. What do you think I should do, ditch him or date him? Thanks, Sarah. I think you continue to date him. I'm like, if he's paying for everything, Mm -hmm. right? It seems like you have... A, ba- a somewhat balanced relationship. And yeah, the grocery store thing's kind of funny, but depending, and I don't think we know how long they've been dating, but I, 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 w- I would not have an issue with this, especially if this is his lifestyle and what he had before. And maybe it's just because, you know, I know you, Mo, and how you roll, and mm-hmm. you, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that's why I think he should ditch her. Because oh, uh, really? yes, a lot of people love to get the joke off that I don't have a car on me and I don't think they understand the concept of someone who doesn't want one. It's not that I can't afford one. I don't want one. I think it's a muddy pit. It's a whole lot of different reasons I don't have a car. Now, if you really like this man, in my opinion, this wouldn't be an issue. It's an easy fix. Either you let him drive your car because once y'all get together, y'all, y'all going to share everything anyway, mm-hmm. or you take Ubers together. And if he's willing to pay for you to always be chauffeured in the same Uber as him, what's the problem? So to me... I don't think this is ever a reason to ditch somebody if you really like them. Yeah, I honestly think Ryder's clueless. Like, I don't think he, in his mind, thinks that this is some kind of problem. I think women, we tend to feel like, and if you're dating a guy and you're into into men, you typically like to feel like you're taken care of and you kind of like it when things are paid for and he's getting in. Like, when I had to drive a date back to his apartment after he got a little too tipsy, I'll be honest, I felt a little masculine and I didn't like it. So I get how she feels, but I think maybe you should say something rather than just complain about it behind his back and then dump him. Yeah, in this instance, if he was if he wasn't doing everything else, the candlelight dinner, making dinner, paying for the dates, etc., if he was like making her like split all that stuff on top of like having to be that'd the chauffeur, be that'd be way different. In this instance though, I think he's in the clear. So I think we're all unanimous and yeah, yeah continue to date. Mm-hmm. The Burt Show. Hey, did you like what you just watched? Good news. There's more of us. If you go to wherever you listen to your podcast, whether that's Apple or Google Play or Spotify, you can listen to The Burt Show wherever you are, whenever you want to.